Science shows Stephen Hawking is wrong about gravity. Okay, wait. Isn't Stephen Hawking one of the greatest scientists ever? Most definitely, yes. So, how could he be wrong? Well, true science is about discovering truth. Its objective is to understand the universe without human biases. And something Hawking said about gravity just doesn't fit with reality. What did Hawking say? He said, Because there's a law, such as gravity, the universe can and will create itself from nothing. So gravity caused the universe to create itself from nothing? I don't know about you, but I'm not willing to just accept something because some smart guy said it. That is being biased and that's not science. So I did some research and found many scientists disagree with Hawking. Here's what one said. Laws don't create anything. They are merely a description of what happens under certain conditions. Hmm. This is interesting. But let's test what this scientist said. He said laws don't create, they just describe. Okay, let's apply this to a simple law, like the mathematical law of addition. This law says, no matter which order you add up numbers, you will always get the same answer. So let's say you go to the supermarket. When you check out, it doesn't matter in which order the cashier rings up the items, the total will be the same. See, all three answers are $28. That makes sense. This is a useful mathematical law that we count on daily. But Professor Lennox said laws don't create anything. They simply describe. Does this mathematical law create anything? In other words, if there were no numbers, if there was no supermarket or universe filled with things to count, would the law of addition create things to count? Well, no. The law only describes what already exists. If the universe didn't exist, then neither would the law. So what about the law of gravity? First, what is the definition? Put simply, Newton's law of universal gravitation states that a particle attracts every other particle in the universe using a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses. So the law of gravity describes how the particles of the universe attract each other. If there were no particles, would gravity exist? No. How could it? There would be no particles attracting, there would be nothing to describe, and so the law would not exist. Remember, the law of gravity describes particles. It doesn't create particles. So, no universe, no particles, no gravity. Okay, now armed with that knowledge, Let's look at Hawking's statement again. Because there is a law, such as gravity, the universe can and will create itself from nothing. That really doesn't make sense.